happy to be here this morning for the uh, Bar Mitzvah of Simcha and to participate in the uh, Nachas of Rabbi Schultz and his Rebbetzin. <clears throat> but I'd like to, uh, <clears throat> Simcha, listen in carefully. And that's the key word. The buzzword is listen. It says a pasuk in Yeshayahu Hanavi, Shimu utechi nafshechem. Listen, and your soul will become alive, or you'll live, or your soul will come alive. Shimu, listen, utechi nafshechem. There's something special in the quality called listening. <clears throat> and the Medrash tells us that if a person falls from a roof or damaged, and all his body <clears throat> has all types of bandages, from a bomb, a shell, who knows what. So each part has to be healed by itself. But when a person is spiritually dirty, and all parts of his Ramache Varim, as you saw Gidim, are smelling rotten, some people's bones get rotten, what aver of the body what part of the body can ha what part of the body do you need to do a refua that you need to be helped out that would help the whole body? And that is the ear. And they bring this pusik down. Shimu, listen, Simcha. Utechina, you have to learn to listen. And Unkelis translates the word listen to kabilu. Not just listening with your ear. <coughs> You hear a lot of things. <clears throat> but to accept upon yourself. Accept upon yourself what? <clears throat> what Kabbalah? What does it do when you hear? Shema Yisrael Hashem Elokeinu Hashem Echad. We connect the listening to all Torah, all mitzvahs, all Malchus Shomayim. It's a Kabbalah of Omal Chushamayim. When Yisro heard, what did Yisro hear? Yisro heard the Nisven Eflois of Hashem, of Yamsuf, of Melchemes Amolek. But when did Yisro really accept upon himself the godless of Hashem? Is only when Moshe Arvenu revealed to him what happened in Mitzrayim. And then he said, Atoya dati ki godol Hashem elokim. Now I know Hashem is really big. Ki badova asher zodu alehem. And the Mepharshim explained it means me the Kineg and me the when he saw it, that it's very exact the punishments to the Averos of Mitzrayim at that point he recognized the godless Hashem. It's not only seeing the bigness of God but it's also me the Kineg and me. It's very exact. <clears throat> And here I want to add <clears throat> a little word which I said, but I want to add it to another dimension for us. <laughs> In Hilchas Tainus, <clears throat> when we fast, I talked about this Rambam, but now I'd like to explain a little better. 
In Ilchas Tainas, Halochi Gimel, Beis and Gimel. The Rambam is Megalatos, a secret that when troubles come, it's dark ya tshuva. Your Almighty wants us to do tshuva. And tshuva has two parts. One is to remove the sin. And there's another thing that's schar va'onesh, the schar va'onesh, to remove the sin, but also it's a teichocha. Teichocha means it's to teach us. It's to teach us to do things. In order to do tshuva, in order to recognize Hashem. Those are two separate qualities, to recognize Hashem and to do tshuva. <clears throat> but it's all parsha tshuva. And the Rambam says, if you have troubles and you say, ah, it's nothing, not that it's nothing, but this is war. That's how war works. You have bad people and good people in the world. Now we got Hitlers and we got Saddam. We have bad people. And that's the way of the world. Ace of Sinus Yaakov. That's the way of the world. Ace of hates Yaakov. That's the way of the world. And we have to fight him. And Hashem makes Nisim naturally. And he'll send Sahal and he'll send this and everything else. <clears throat> but in some way, it never connected to ourselves. We don't listen. Shimu, we don't hear what the message is. <clears throat> what is the message? Where's the Mida Kenegin Mida? <clears throat> what do we see that Saddam Hussein has that we have? And he's being bombarded for it. And we are being warned by it, by Hashem, to also change our ways. What is that Mida? What Mida do we have that he has? You know, the Gemara and Arafin, we learned that even the Rishoyim went in the Gehenna, the wicked people, when they're in Gehenna, what do they holler out and say? Yofed Danta, Hashem is MS, and what he says is true, and he judged us right. Yofed Chayavta, you're right. They recognize Hashem. They recognize, there's no reason why not to. They recognize Hashem clearly. The guys in Gehenna. They get Yusurim. They recognize Hashem's ways. <laughs> Somehow, people <clears throat> can have the worst trouble, the worst sorrow, but somehow, eh, no problem. Mystically, magically, you'll be saved. <clears throat> they believe all of a sudden miracles. But do they recognize, A, that it really comes from Hashem and everything is run by God? Or do you believe in the power of Tzahal, the power of who knows what? Tfilah, Tzedakah, magical, Aveda, Zara things. Or they really see Hashem in the world. Shimu, they hear. They hear and they see clearly Hashem in the world. And they learn to recognize Hashem's ways. There's a big Kiddush that in the Dark Yachuva by the Egyptians, when the troubles came to the Egyptians, and they didn't listen, below Shone Aparo will not listen, Hashem said, Shmoz Vav, Shmoz Zion, Dalit Hey, and I'll take them out. The Yedu Mitzrayim, Kiani Hashem. That the plagues itself and the makas themselves is also a limud to recognize Hashem. The goyim have to recognize Hashem. And there's a certain stubbornness. There's a certain achzorius. It comes from me, the achzorius. It's not missing in the akaras Hashem in recognizing God because they believe in Allah. But there's a certain achzorius a certain stubbornness, a certain part that when a person is a Baltaiva or follows his Yetzirah, he gets into a dream world. 
and somehow he thinks about, I got to think what's best for my benefit, <laughs> which in a way is right. But does he really look for his benefit? His benefit is to save his soul, to recognize it comes from Hashem, and he has to save his soul to do tshuva. And everything is a chesed from Hashem that we should recognize God to do tshuva. And the thing that stops us in recognizing Hashem, the Rambam is Megala, that it's achzorius, because we don't have mercy on our soul. We don't really care. We care about our taivas. We care about the moment. We don't care about the future. We don't see that all the klolos and all the punishments is for one thing, that there's an olam habor, not only a now, and a person has to think of not only the now, and the punishment next world on Gehenna is a hundred times more. And the end of all the punishment is the recognizing Hashem, Yofe Danta, Yofe Chiafta, to recognize Hashem. <coughs> Nothing more than that. <laughs> and to do the tshuva. And what holds back? Achzorius, we'll hold on to it. We don't have mercy on ourselves to recognize our goal is purely to serve God and to do tshuva. Saddam Hussein, everybody's telling him the words. He's an achzori. You're going to destroy his people. He's an achzori. <laughs> what is he doing? He doesn't care about lives. He's an achzori. He's ready to blow up the, all, the, all the oil. He's an achzori. He has no feelings. He kills his, his own friends, his own relatives. He's an achzori. He has no mercy on everybody. We will have mercy. Let's help Israel. Let's do what? Let's have mercy on yourself. Recognize God that it all comes from God and do tshuva shleima. We are the same achzarim. We follow our yetzahara. We follow our taivas. And if we don't see things straight, we're holding on. I'm gonna, somebody says, that, uh, I don't need the gas mask. What do I need it for? No problem. Okay. The question, what does it come from? Does it come from Bitochen and Muna because he believes in the Lubavitcher Rebbe? Or does it come from, he doesn't listen to rules, he listens to himself. It comes from <coughs> no year at Shamayim, no care to listen. He, he is a chitzoni, what I want, what I think. Or does it come from Amuna? It comes from Betochen and Hashem? Or does it come from who the heck are they to tell me what to do? I should inconvenience myself to put on my mask? Ah, the odds are, which means the Teva is that. He doesn't realize that everything comes from God. And we were in Mitzrayim to train ourselves to do hard work and to listen. Because we have an ability, I'm kesher if we don't listen. And it comes to reality in the first chapter in, 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 in Rabbeinu Yonah is if you have a way to escape, you got to escape. The way, a way of doing tshuva, you see the problems, you got to recognize God. And the Mitzvah take time to recognize God. And Paro was an achzori. That's why Hashem didn't make it, made his heart hard. Because he didn't want to do tshuva. I recognize Hashem, it all comes from God. But coming from God means what? Tshuva. You put yourself in God's hands. It's a midas achzorios, not a midas hakaras Hashem. That's what it says in Hulchas Tainus. It's achzorios. There are achzor gremel and lahem li dovig mais marayim. And our problem is, the first step is lamoid al ms to see with our eyes and to hear shimu to hear clearly. It's all from Hashem. If it all comes from Hashem, you got to do tshuva, you got to change your ways, you got to learn your Torah. And the, the Chiddush, one Chiddush, as I mentioned, was the fact that the mak itself, itself causes one to recognize Hashem. And somebody made a joke, what's the difference between Purim and now? So they talk about the masks. There they wore the mask afterward, and now they wear the mask before. But the real chilik is, there, the Gemara Megillah, G'day Lasra Tabas, Acham before the Naviim. The Gemara says, because there was a trouble, what did they do? They did tshuva, and accepted the Torah Be'avah. We, with all this going into the, the, the all the troubles, and I was like, yeah, no problem, we got the Patriot, we got Saha, we're going to fight, we'll be strong, don't worry. I mean, it all from Yad Hashem, what's Saha? What, what is it? It's only all coming from Hashem <coughs> that we should do tshuva. 
And what are we with children? Children don't like to listen to their parents. We rebel because it's not Zorius in us. I'll do what I want, how I think. But really we start to think, what does Hashem want? Ma Hashem wrote, what does He want from us? What are we hearing? What is He telling us? <coughs> and now I come to the key piece. There's a story of Yonah. Yonah was told to do something. He had a mission in life to tell something. But he figured in his own head, how can I go and tell Ninveh? They're anti-Semites, they're going to hurt the Jews later. <clears throat> so he decided not to listen to God and do what he thought is right in his way. And he has his own ideas, his own hashkofa sachaim. He's a Novi, he knows what to do, he knows how to handle things. He has smichas kachomim, smicham Hashem, he has, he's a Novi, he knows what to do. He's a smart man. Hashem told him he's a Novi. <clears throat> so he knows what to do. Who can be smarter than Hashem Tell me you're a Novi and you have a message to give? <clears throat> so he figured out what to do, run away, you know, a play game. <clears throat> now Hashem had a Megala to the world. <clears throat> Something interesting. Goyim who don't believe in only in their gods, and you know about Goyim, they believe in their gods, and any other god they hate and they'll destroy, and for the sake of their gods they make crusades, and they put people on the stakes, on the crosses, and what don't they do for their gods? You believe in Allah, they kill the world, you don't believe in Allah, they kill the world, for their gods they kill the world. And now everybody's in this boat, <clears throat> Muslims and Christians, <clears throat> and who knows what, Buddhists, everybody who hates the other religion, and all of a sudden, because of fear, <clears throat> and you know it comes from God, all of a sudden there's a little space for other religions. They say, damn it, what's happening here? Because they know in time of danger, they really felt the danger. In time of danger, try anything, do anything. You know, if you don't feel the danger, you say, okay, I'm right. But in time of danger, any possibility, any little straw you're going to grab on. So what do they say? Let everybody pray to their gods. They had to make space for other people because they don't know. Maybe they're right, maybe they're not right. There's a possibility. Okay, but <clears throat> possibly they're wrong. Their gods aren't right. And then what do they do? They look around. And what do they see the Jewish guy doing? The Navi, the Talmud Chacham learns in Yeshiva. What is he doing? What do they see the Talmud Chacham doing, the Navi doing? Guess what he's doing? Where's the food? What's happening here? Got a phone call from America. My parents, what's happening? The bombs, the guns, the masks, what's happening? And what is he doing? He's sleeping. So what did the Goyim say to the Jews? Malachar near them, you sleeping guy, what the heck are you doing? You're the religious one, you represent God. Open your ears, don't you hear? Why are you sleeping call? Come, crawl al get up and pray. Say to him, what's this business? Where's the Torah learning? You believe in Akol, Kol, Yaakov, Yadayim, Yaday, Esav. That the voice is the voice of, of Torah and the hands are Esav. And what are you doing? Saha, guns, mass, things. Okay, we say you got to do it. We're not saying no, but that's where the head is. Radio is what's happening, emergency. Where's the Kol, Kol, Yaakov? Where's, where's the Kol, Kol, Yaakov? Where's the word of God? Where's Chova? How many people did Chova? Raise your hands. How many people changed their ways? Don't you recognize it? Do you recognize God? It's coming from God? <clears throat> what are we sleeping? What are we doing? And don't forget, boys, <clears throat> 600 airplanes are still left. They can come over 601 bunch. There's 6,000 Telem left. America announced it's the fourth largest army in the world, Iraq. <clears throat> what are we talking about? A few little bombs? <clears throat> A little technical advancement? He has bunkers under the ground. They spent $50 billion for an armament. $50 billion in armament. <clears throat> and not only for big missiles and big bombs like America spent. <clears throat> this is a serious thing. So little, little, little few Scots come out, which are not really, according to the world, serious <clears throat> bombs. Not war bombs even. These are just political bombs to scare people. <clears throat> so you have a little patriot that goes out. That's partly made in Israel, yay. <clears throat> and what are we doing? What is our job? And this is not really talking to Rabbi Mitzvah boy and to us. What's our job? Shimo, listen. <coughs> and live. What's living? If you want to live, Tzadik Bemunosi Yenidemunah Bashem, you learned the Torah. Thank God. You stayed here, you didn't run back because you had more bitokin than Hashem. You listened to all these whispers and people come home. And right away you run back and like little creeps and from far you'll, uh, 
you'll uh, listen to the television and call on the phone. You know, we're with you, Rabbi. One sec, shut the television down a little bit. Um, we're with you, Rabbi, you know. <laughs> Give me another piece of cake there. Come on, another candy. We're with you, Rabbi. We're praying for you. Ah, some money. Well, I don't have no money. I can't spend my money. I need it for myself to go to the movies, to go with a car. I need it for my girlfriend. I got come on, Rabbi, you know. I got to live for myself a little bit, you know. <clears throat> but the real truth is, we're now in serious times. Why we're Zohar to be here, I don't know. But a bar mitzvah represents to us the beginning. What's the beginning for us and for you, Simcha? The beginning is Kabbalah. Shimu, Shema Yisrael, Hashem, Elokeinu, Hashem, Echad. The Makabel Ol, Malchus Shem, recognizing God, and you decide to be a soldier. And not to fool around like some kids come here. They wanted the ride to come here, maybe. But they really came because they loved you. But <clears throat> also the ride, and they, they wanted to come, and they're good kids. And they wanted to make sure they threw those candies on you. They wouldn't let it go without throwing candies on you. They want to be part of your bar mitzvah. But the real truth is, the tachlis of, of a bar mitzvah means mitzvah. Mitzvah means commandment. Command means listening to what Hashem has to say and do what Hashem says. And that's the message for all of us. And I'm very proud, Rabbi Schultz, that the majority of Torah Yel boys stayed. <clears throat> I think they have the makings of a Talmud Chacham. <clears throat> I just know a true story. I like to repeat it for them. There's a rich man in Detroit. I don't know if he's still alive. This, I heard it from Rabbi Scheinberg <clears throat> when Rabbi Altuski got married, who wrote, uh, how many years he's married? I don't know. Already his son is 25, 30. <clears throat> Rabbi <Altuski> got married. <clears throat> so Rabbi Scheinberg went to Detroit. Rashi didn't pay him his salary, so he had to go to Detroit to raise his money for the wedding. <clears throat> so I used to be always there on Friday afternoon, Friday morning. He always used to be one of these guys who always liked to be in the base medrash. <clears throat> so he called me over. I came over to him and he gave me a pinch. He said, ah, says, listen, he just came back from Detroit. <clears throat> and Hashem, I owed all this money to, uh, you know, Rashi owed him this money. And now, Rashi, if you raise the money, it'll all be yours for the wedding. And Hashem gave me the bracha. I didn't know why I was hollering the Rashi, why didn't he give me the money, you know. But now I see it's a bracha. They him. Otherwise, Baba Tuski's father would not allow him to marry uh, his daughter, Rabbi Scheinberg's daughter, unless uh, she's at Satkanias, unless he, they were able to have money for the wedding, etc. He says, but there's another thing I got to tell you. <clears throat> there was this guy in Detroit, a multi-millionaire, who's now a reform guy, wouldn't give a penny for stock. And I remember him, when the war broke out, everybody ran, and he stayed by his Rosh Hashiv in the base Medrash, and when the Germans came in, he stayed there. And he got a bracha from the Rosh Hashiv, that Hashem will help him. And today he's a multi-millionaire, Hashem gave him the bracha. But the only problem is, he turned reform. <clears throat> but I heard from there two things. I heard from there that the fact that you stayed with your Rashi Shiva and buys Torah Israel, and you stuck it out as a big schus. It's not a simple thing. But you got to use that schus for good, to become more Yerit Shamayim. Not only for a reward for physical things, but Yerit Shamayim. And maybe this will be the beginning of a, 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 an, an upheaval to bring many boys who came here, they're out floating around, to bring them back to Torah. A lot of volunteers around, we've got to bring them now to Torah. Like I started Yeshiv in the Sixth Day War, we've got to bring guys back here to learn Torah who are volunteers who <clears throat> came to Israel. And I say the same to you, Simcha. Remember your bar mitzvah time of war? When people came, as Siras Nefesh, my brother came, and Danny came, they come to your bar mitzvah. And people in Yisrocha came from the from the Yishuv, and we came knowing that last time on Friday, on Saturday at 7:15 there was a bomb. You remember last Saturday at 7:15 we knew it, and we came anyway. But our gas mask for what reason? For one reason, Simcha, to know what it means to ourselves and to you what Bar Mitzvah means to uh, listen to God and do His commandments, see God's ways in the world, and do tshuva. And I hope in Mirz Hashem, we're not going to be like Yonah. And we're not going to be sleeping. And we'll be like the prophet Yeshayo Hanovi that said, Shimu, listen. Utechin Hashem will become alive and vibrant. And recognize Hashem and do the tshuva shlema. And not be achzorim on ourselves. But a guy that doesn't do tshuva is an achzorim.
He's not a nice guy. He's a rat to himself. He wants to hurt himself. And he's about Taiva and about, about, and about uh, the Yitzhahara. And I hope we'll learn Mida Keneged Mida. Saddam is an Achzori. Hope we're not going to be an Achzori. We are B'nai Rachmanim. We have mercy. But we have to have mercy not for the left and peace. We have to have mercy on ourselves to do tshuva shlema and recognize Hashem and bring the good of Amen. Amen. What? Now I want you to stand up, uh, Simcha, and get on the chair here. There's a, a Makabal old Torah. Oh, Malchus Shamayim. <clears throat> now shut your eyes, sit on the chair, and ask Hashem that you should do tshuva, fix your tefillin, get the tefillin straight. And ask Hashem to help you out in your ways to do tshuva shlema. Become a Tamachacham old Torah and make your parents proud of you and the boys of Torah Israel and they ask Bishiva to be proud of you. And I want to wish also Danny, uh, Danny Goldstein, I'd say Shem Lashalom, Aboacham Lashalom back again, Tarot Israel. I would like to just say a little word of Musa, though. I don't want to lose a word of Musa. I just want to add a little quick word that the Chavetz Chaim ala Torah, the Chavetz Chaim ala Torah. Has uh, uh, it brings down a a source and I'm building on his source and I agree with him. He says, "Isa betanid be'eliyahu, kishohoya Yisrael be'mitzrayim, niskab tu kula v'yoshviyachat." What happened was when the Jews were in Egypt. They got together and they sat down. Mishum Shorokulam Kaguda Achas because they became one unit with one goal. Vikarsu Bris Yachad, they made an agreement. Like you have, you know, these people make blood uh, blood agreements, Indians, you know. They make an agreement to get a bris. Shiyasu Gimilas Chasodim Ze Imze. They'll do chesed, one with another. The Yishmu Bil Vovam Bris Avram Yisri Yaakov. They'll keep the the covenant of Avram Yisri Yaakov in their heart. Ulavoid Esavim Shub Shmaim Lavado. They'll only decide what? To worship Hashem only. Vishalo Yaniach Loshen Beis Yaakov Avim. Vishalo Yamdu Loshen Mitzrayim Vachulu. So he says like this, he explains it. Kishiro Yisrael Shain Shum Aitzel in Notzel me Xeros Shal Paro, Vashibu Hoyo Mizgabi Miyom Yom, His Kibu Beneem Shayehu Bedera Hashem Lavado. They're only going to be totally dedicated only to Hashem. They're not going to mix, they're going to get rid of everything. They're only going to be pure. Shal Yishan Shemaisum, Lashonim, Yimul Chesed Zemze, they're going to be united. So what will happen? A little Kabbalah. Shai dey zei yisura gam la mala chesed shem yaleihem. Mida kenegim mida. V'yavatim aleihem gzeres shel paro. V'em es kach hoya b'seif. Sh'adob hazeh hoya sibol gulosam. As it says. In Shmos Rabba. Or maybe Shalmi Sanhedrin Perikin Aleph. Oma Kodesh Boisho. B'ni. My timer. 
כי ההומים ימושו וגבוהס נמותו, ההורם זה זכוס אבות, והגבורה זה זכוס אמורס, מכאן ואילך וחסודי מידחו לא יומוש. He brings a proof. Nechisa b'chastacho amzu goalto. Nechisa b'chastacho is chagim l'schas adem. Nachalas b'uzcho zu tayra. Ki tayra hoysa mitzrayim. They always had tayra. Even though the tayra wasn't given, they still, they learned the mitzvahs. According to Arshach, they had the, the Megillos so before, or Eov. Because they did chesed and they learned the Torah, Hashem was more to them. <clears throat> I see from here a interesting thought. There was one time the Chafetz Chaim got together in a time of emergency. He got all the G'daylam in Israel to come to a certain a convention because he was the head of the Moetzeh G'daylam Torah in Europe. He got everybody together. And the Chafetz Chaim called everybody together it was Zerav Rosh Hashanah, and uh, people had to travel. In those days, not like today, everybody flies to Israel. They, they get cheaper rates, and they get a newspaper and televised, and you know what I mean? <clears throat> They're heroes. But those days, in order to travel from place to place, you had to get on a, a horse and wagon, and you had to travel on the roads, and it was muddy and dirty and windy, and it was hard, ups and down and bumps, and you had to leave your family, <clears throat> no telephone system. <clears throat> it was tough. So when they left, it was a really a terror. You had to leave your community. <laughs> They didn't get reductions <clears throat> on the way. <clears throat> they lived, uh, who knows, they worried about kashras. They had no hotels like today. Flown in meals. <clears throat> they really had, so they got all together. And he called them together before Rosh Hashanah. I said this once, before Rosh Hashanah. <clears throat> and uh, he made everybody sign a star that Hashem is the Melech Hololo. The Hashem Mechab Ol so they said, look, uh, <laughs> we had to come travel so far to do that. You're going to send it by post. We would have signed it. <clears throat> he says, no, we had to be Eidos. We got to be together. We have to sign Eidos. That Hashem is the Melech of the Olam. Hashem, Melech, Hashem, Molech, Hashem, Yimloch, Lohim, Hashem is the Melech of the Olam. So I, only, I always thought until now, <clears throat> till I read this Chazal, <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> but I see from here a different, I heard, where did the Chofetz Chaim get part of it? I understand, I understand if you want to break, if you want to break the problems that come, <clears throat> it's a simple svara. <clears throat> what do you do if you have an enemy? Or troubles. You get your forces together. <clears throat> you get your forces together. And you unite. <clears throat> you know what I mean? <clears throat> you keep your base. You have a problem outside. Your husband and wife get together. Okay, let's forgive and forget. You know, we got problems with the kids. We got this. Let's go forward. You know, we got an enemy to fight. Forget about it. <clears throat> I mean, let's, you know what I mean? Let's make up. Let's get the shalom. Or the same thing is a person. You know what I mean? If there's troubles, what do you got to do? You got to, you know, start again. Ma, ma, you, you got to go back to your side. It's ma, uh, what's the, what does Hashem want you? Boy, lomo, you want to do is, you know, ma, chavos, You got to get back to your basics. And, and you got to unite yourself together and make your kabbalas again. And you got to uh, go, come straight. Get rid of the excess baggage, all the tithers and covered and whatever it may be and the crazy ideas you got. And get down to the core facts. And uh, accept the Yichud Hashem, you're going to work Hashem Levado. And you're going to, every Jew is united together. We're together, you're working together. You're do chesed. What do you unite? It means chesed. You've got to help each other together, Avas Yisrael together. And you got to do it. And what does it mean also? The same thing is, you've got to get rid of all your Olam Hazed, I try to say it in Shabbos also, the word. What does it mean? You've got to get rid of all your weekday things and Shabbos is on Kulo Kadosh when you eat, you eat L'Shem Shabbayim you, you gotta get, get into the basic core of Kedusha you gotta get rid of all the weekday junk and get into Kedusha and eat differently sleep differently learn differently so when troubles come to Kalal Yisrael <clears throat> we always get back we gotta go back to our basic Yisod and one of the basic Yisod is you unite together <clears throat> and you make Kabbalahs <clears throat> and I saw in Rasim Chazizel's book the Alta Mikelim there, what they did, they made a Kabbalah of Shemar Hashem. They made a group called Chevre Shem Mishalas. 
what do you need it for? These guys in Kelim, Talmidei Chachomim, you're talking about Rosh Hashivas, you're talking about Gedolim, they have to make Kabbalah and Achavran, and how are you doing? You're learning Hil Chashav? What is that? It's for babies, not for big men and grown men of Kelim. <coughs> and the answer is, so I used to say, well, you need it so psychologically, and you need it maybe to unite together, you're weak by yourself. When I saw this Chafetz Chaim, and he brought the Torah, it's not so. Because there's a time when you must get together, your family, yourselves, or the unit, which is Klal Yisrael, and you get together, you get together, and you, and you make a bris. You once again unite together to, to, to accept again the bundle men, fundamental principles. You see, by the Hasid, when they get together on Shabbos, you see them all some bing bing, they all get up, Hashem, Melech, Hashem, Melech, Hashem. I used to laugh, what is that? I got a cup over there. It's like, and the beauty too, it's like a cut. It's, like it's like a guru type of uh, situation. You, know, you get back in, and you're the Boy Scouts, again, you're in trouble. You, you get to the Boy Scouts, I'm a Boy Scout, you know, the, whatever the Boy Scouts say, you, you, they pull you back to your principles, you're back to who you are and what you are, to your fundamental ideas. <coughs> but, it, 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 and that's what it means. Hashem wants, in a time of trouble, that the Jewish people, A, should unite and makabal upon yourself the same thing again. But to make sure it, it's done and locked in and is a bris. Now they made some gezeras there. They added, they added not to change their names and not to change their language and not to malbushim, to be united, to be recognized as the unification of one group. But the purpose of the unification is not that they shouldn't change their clothing and speak the same name. The purpose is what? To, 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 to designate oneself totally to the Avedis Hashem Levado, him alone and nothing else. So they did all these little things there. And again, at these times of stress, I would suggest that Chabur is getting together. To do it Barabim here, you'll say, okay, Rabbi, it's like a fake exercise. But the Chabur should get together, <clears throat> and, the, and the Chabur should go home with their kids, and, and get the wives and the kids together, and accept upon yourself, we're Jews, and why is Saddam killing us? Because only because we're Jews, what is that, what's it all about? He's talking about just Jews, because we're Jews. Not no reason why. Because we're Jews. We really, and we therefore, as a rabbi, Hashem tells us we are Jews. Yes, we are Jews. And we believe only in God. And the one God. And not only that, we do chesed one with the other. We're a nation. Not only us as a particular. He's attacking us as a klal, not a prat. So if it's a klal, so we have to be part of the klal. How do you get called a klal? By identifying A together, makabal things together, and doing chesed one to another. Not He got to do it and I'll run away and I'll do my thing. No, you got to help this zulat. That's the whole thing. That's what together means. Because the reason why we are being hit, because we are Jews together. You, us as a, as, as a, as a, as, as a Klali thing. So Klali thing, you have to do chesed one to the other. That's the Klal. To be part of the Klal and the chesed with the Klal. That's what we're talking about. And we have to do the Torah mitzvahs and learning the Torah and doing the mitzvahs we got to do. That means while we're doing it now, it means dedication only. Levado, only this, nothing else. You got to get your chaburas together, and then get your families together. <clears throat> Tell your wife what's our goal in life. What's your goal in life? Make sure you make good food for me. Make sure you you take good care of me. No, no, no. That's not what we're talking about. She's listen. You bring in the chicken, and I'll take care of you. Bring in the money. That's what it's about. You know, I take care of the kids. And, no, no. It means what's our goal? What's the purpose of doing all this for? Because we love each other. No, no. What are we doing all this? Okay, that's all why we got married. You. No, no. But it's all about what? Because we have to dedicate ourselves totally to Hashem. And that's what we're talking about. You have to do chesed one for the other. You have to insist more chesed in the house. You need husband and wife and wife and children, children and husband. Yeshiva, Rebbe, the Talmud, Talmud. The Rebbe, it's the same story. In Klai Yisrael in general, we're not, we, we, if you don't do the local unit, you're not going to do the big unit. I mean, that's for sure. And that's why this time I was thinking also a lot of chess we got to do with these. You know, everybody hates to take in these Russians. 
I mean, it's, it's not an open door policy. If it was American, I think it would open the door to the left and right. <coughs> if it was Canadian, <coughs> yeah. <coughs> Even if, yeah, but I don't know. Tel Avivian, meet Tel Avivian down in the down in the Florida of a lot and the uh, and Arad, you know, Arad, uh, San Francisco, whatever you want to say. All these areas they have, they they help it. You know, I mean, the government helps each other out. But but somehow there's a uh, some has to. Uh, uh, but they're army Israel. You got to help them because they're army Israel. Nothing more than that. You have to help, but you have to first help your local unit, and you have to help the larger unit. Maybe that's what's happening this time. Zevaz al Chesed Zevaz. It's not to make money with housing like they're all doing. Or to hop in. The in thing now is to help Russians. <coughs> you get money and you get publicity and you're in the in thing. That's not what it's about. It's the Chesed Zevaz. So here you see from here a little Kiddish. I mean, you, you got to do it. You got to do it. To your own little grouping. The husband and wife, that's the unit. The wife and kids, that's the unit. Your Chabura, your Shiva. Because you, you, you can't go to a big room. You, 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 you do something, you make the Kabbalah. But it's a Kabbalah on yourself that Levado, Hashem Levado. And it has to be a Kabbalah. It's not yourself. It has to be that you're part of the unit Jew. Because Pharaoh went against Jew, Klai Yisrael. And this guy, Hussein, is against Klai Yisrael. And the PLO is against Klai Yisrael. <coughs> not against uh, a particular person. So as a cloud, we got to unite together as a cloud, open clawly. And we have to do our thing. Another thing is the milcham is what? The milcham is a, a milcham. Hashem is ish milcham. Hashem makes the milcham. Hashem announced comes from Malchus. So Hashem wants a milcham. So we, we got that. What is that for? Teach us what? To teach us? To do our mitzvahs? What is a mitzvah? Mitzvah, your acquaintance means to unite together and to work together. He says, ah, he does the work, I'll sit and learn, he'll do the work. That's not it. Chesed zel is it. Well, by me learning Torah, I do chesed for him. Let him do the flaws and I'll, I'll do it. Not so. It means everybody together. Family, wives, children, that's what I mean. Brothers, sisters, husband, wife.